اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمده و نسلی علی رسوله الكریم سبحان رب کرب العزت اما یاسفون و سلام علی المرسلین والحمدللہ رب العالمین ان اللہ و ملائکاتہ یسلون علی النبی یا ایوہ الذین آمنوا صلو علیہ وسلم تسلیم رب یسر ولا توسر وطم من بالخیر رب شرع لی صدری و یسر لی عمری و حلو لکتتم من لسان یفقا و کولی ویش آف ویش آل اپ مائی سٹورنٹس تو بی ان گوڈ شیپ آئی کانگریجولیٹ آل اپ شیو تو سی دیس ہولی منت آف رمضان ایٹ ایز ناؤ second of the Ramzan and 1442 Hijri. Well, you all know pharmacology is something new for you and, and the, my students who are familiar with the basic or uh, the prerequisites to come over the subject, they will find it easier. So what are the prerequisites you have already been told to have a good knowledge of pharmacology? Part of that to be studied today, it is about the different factors which affect the dose of a drug or action of a drug or both. So being a good student, a good clinical pharmacologist, I hope my students will observe all these factors while prescribing dose, prescribing a drug, or how much is to be given, when to be given, and how long it to be given. A number of factors you will observe in your mind. As concerned the dose, there is no linear relation between the dose and the effect. So, number of other things, number of factors you will consider in your mind. So, it's something very, very important for whole of your life. So, the same dose may give different effects in the same individual. For that reason, it's very important. Written in your book, that uh, even if you make corrections in the potency of a drug or maximal efficacy or slope of a drug, even then the effects may differ, the dose may differ. So just Going through all these factors, number of factors are there. So have a pen and a copy in your, <clears throat> with you have a pen and a copy with you and go on no, noting those things which are not given in the, these slides. So just note on, we will elaborate to some extent certain factors they are even to be discussed later on for say for two complete lectures just go on writing please you just note down uh, first factor is the age age of a patient for children for adults for old age old age is note down it is the geriatric and drugs relation with the old age so known as geriatric pharmacology about the drugs and the children is uh, known as pediatric pharmacology pediatric pharmacology so just first note on this age and what is to be given at what age and what is not to be given at a certain age then after age, you have to consider weight. 
is a general term, weight, weight of a patient. So you have to see if the standard weight is taken as say 140 pounds or 150 pounds or otherwise <coughs> equivalence you may convert it to say a 70 kilogram. So there are, are formulae to adjust those according to the weight. Then you have to consider the sex. As concerns sex, you, you must consider what drug is to be given to a male person to what extent and to a female person. Female person with different uh, other uh, problems, say a lady is pregnant, what to be given, what not to be given. Uh, the drugs may be tratogenic, drug may be mutagenic, drug may be carcinogenic. Or uh, at the same time, if there is pregnancy, uh, the drug may be ecbolic, abortifacient. So you have to be very careful at that time. Ecbolic, not down. These words may not be there in even your books. Ecbolics also known as oxytocin, oxytocin, like oxytocin. Maybe abortifacient. And on other side, the drug may relax uterus. So known as, note down please, uh, tocolytics, T-O-C-O, tocolytics. Then another factor after the sex <coughs> is uh, uh, tolerance. So you go, go on giving one medicine and the effect that goes down, it is hyporeactivity, hyporeactivity. So how the tolerance, you should be able to write, say one or two page about the tolerance, how it develops, what is tolerance, you have already been told in detail by other professors. Of. So tolerance decrease, effect to a drug with the passage of time. So related to tolerance, another effect, <coughs> factor you will consider like the tachyphylaxis, tachyphylaxis. So tachyphylaxis, <coughs> tachy, you know, tachycardia, tachy rapid, phylaxis, phylaxis, protection. Then the next factor, say the idiosyncrasy, idiosyncrasy. It's an, it is something unusual effect to a drug. No, it is related to genetic factors, genetic. Uh, presence of enzyme, if, uh, so the effect is uh, <coughs> changed, or some enzyme is overactive. Uh, in, in case of idiosyncrasy, it is unusual response, unusual response to a drug. So you will go through the slide and we'll see what's happening with idiosyncrasy. Then another effect you will see, it is about the drug allergy. Drug allergy, the synonym is hypersensitivity. Drug allergy or hypersensitivity, it is different from idiosyncrasy. Drug allergy. Yeah, it is the antigen antibody reaction. Is uh, there is immune response, drug allergy. You, you should have, say, sufficient knowledge to write one note about a drug allergy. So there are different types of drug allergy according to the time, maybe immediate or maybe delayed. Immediate or delayed. So a drug is to be tested. If someone is allergic to a drug, most common examples are like that of penicillins, penicillins, then anti tetanus serum, drug regime. Person may be allergic to aspirin, no doubt. After that, the next factor you will consider it is about the time of drug administration. When a drug is to be given. Say the sedative hypnotic, they are they do well at the time of bed, at night. And those drugs which are to be keep your mind alert should be given in the morning. So you remain. 
then route of drug administration. You, you have been taught about the different routes, uh, enteral and paraenteral. According to the uh, requirements, so you will decide what route is to be, is a drug is to be inhaled, is it to be given projectum, is it to be given oral, orally, mostly the drugs are given orally. Then the next thing you will consider is something very, very important. You will have two lectures about drug interaction. The next one is drug interactions. It's something very important, drug interaction. There are booklets on drug interaction. It is not possible to go through all the interaction, but uh, the interactions of common drugs must be uh, in your mind. Well, you are going to prescribe so the drug intent must be kept inside. The next one is the toxicity. Adverse effects, side effects, like that. Toxicity, the unwanted effects. So toxicity may be, uh, toxicity may be acute if even there is immediate toxic effect, then it may be subacute, a drug is given for certain weeks and it may be chronic toxicity that's a, a drug is given for more than six months or like that. Then what other you, next factor, you have to go through certain pathological conditions, how the uh, pathological, how the liver function is there, kidney function is there, what's the situation of uh, the gut and like that the pathological condition or maybe say <coughs> the endocrine function you have to keep in your mind. Then the next factor is the milieu. Milieu. The effect about the social affairs or the surrounding milieu. You have to relate them with the, uh, with the drug. Next one Related to idiosyncrasy or idiosyncrasy, these are pharmacogenetic. There is polypharmase and changes in the DNA. So pharmacogenetic, uh, you have gone through this pharmacogenetic examples. Most probably in your biochemistry, say the G6 PD deficiency uh, and there is hemolytic anemia say the catalase deficiency and there is no bubble formation with hydrogen peroxide. So certain examples you must uh, uh, keep in your mind. Say atropinase present in certain rabbits. So atropine will not show the dilating effect on eye. Then the next thing you will consider whenever you are prescribing a drug for longer period, it is about the addiction. There is further to learn about the addiction, psychic dependence, and, <clears throat> and the next one, the, uh, this physiological or physical dependence. So uh, be careful while prescribing drugs so, to avoid this. Then another term is supersensitivity. Supersensitivity, it, it, it is a hyperreactivity, a supersensitivity, it's a special term. And the hyperactivity is there due to, say, denervation, supersensitivity due to denervation. Or uh, you are giving, say, receptor antagonists for a longer period. So it will go. Next on, note on about the racial factors. Different traces may uh, <coughs> show different effect to a drug and then about the species <coughs> species say the cats they are excited with canine animals they are excited with morphine otherwise you know morphine given for sleep is <coughs> something a novel was a royal painkiller but in case of uh, maybe use morphine or opium and for doping purpose, not on the doping. Well, after this introductory uh, knowledge, 
we come to the uh, next slide what you should know about and the this lecture at the end so just enumerate the factors which may affect the dose of your drug or action or both of them then there are certain formulae to adjust dose pediatric dose adjustment or the dose to be adjusted in aged people who was you know the old age is a complex of diseases so number of things you will uh, keep in your mind while prescribing something to uh, an aged person in your family or other or, or otherwise in your surrounding learning objectives then introduction dose of a drug must be adequate to produce a what should be the dose to have a proper effect what you need then variation in response to the same dose of a drug is a rule rather than exception you have already been told that uh, the same person is there same drug is there uh, corrections are made for, for potency maximal efficacy and slope even then the effect may differ so next one many factors influence the dosage and action we have i have enumerated all of these many factors different factors uh, the, all these factors should be there uh, on your tapes so you if in why why you are asked you can easily count them and you can impress your external examiner you all you know the internal examiners they are already impressed by your personalities basic reasons for variations in drug response number 1 individual differences in pharmaco pharmacokinetic there are differences say in the children in adults and the in the elderly people that is pharmacogenetic Oh, I'm sorry. The geriatric pharmacology. No, no, don't play this word. Geriatric pharmacology. Geriatric old age. <clears throat> In America, the old age it starts from 65. Here you find some number of things. People they go on saying that I am now aged at 50. Next one: individual differences in pharmacodynamics of the drug. Individual differences. in the pharmacodynamics of the drug no don and other factors host and environmental factors so milieu you have been told effects are of environment or their uh, host may act different to uh, to a drug so what would be the different effects of a drug it they may be effects effects different there may be there may be quantitative differences say a bigger dose is given less effect is there a small hyperreactivity a small dose is given a bigger effect is there hyperreactivity hyperreactivity or hyperreactivity or the effect may be totally different say the qualitative difference is there so one example just note down say aspirin is being given you know it's pain killer and you also use for number of other um, uh, problems so in certain cases this aspirin or even other nsaids they may produce asthma so which is not required that that here is one definition for sology it is about the dose what quantity of a drug is to be given when to be given how long it to be given and no knowledge about pharmacology factors modifying dose and again, again is and this title is given so the adult dose is from 18 to 60 years at the age at once you know number of pharmacokinetic pharmacodynamic differences they occur uh, in generally the children they are given small doses certain formula is there and uh, you should be familiar with those formula whenever you are giving 
a medicine to your younger brother, sisters, or, or the, your patients. So certain well-known formula you have to calculate. Already told that if it is a it is a weight, then 140 or 150 pound taken as standard. And according to that, if there are no other problems with a uh, patient, so you, those standard formula you. Will here some of the formula are given. Uh, Young's formula. In case of young formula, this formula it is for the patient less than two years of age. Young's rule, also known as Young's rule, Young formula. Young, you have to uh, this uh, relate Young's formula with the years. Here you see the age. In bracket you note down. It is the age in Young's formula. Sorry, not. Young's formula, age, it is sorry, it is true to, it's more than two, more than two years to say 12 years or 11 years in certain verses, it is the formula. So age, it is in years, divided by age in years plus 12. And the adult dose should be there in your mind and you, so for, for example here, age is four years, and you have to divide 4 by 4 plus 12, 16. So one fourth of an adult dose, say the do adult dose is 400 million. So in that child of 4 years, you will get 100 milligram total dose to be given at one time or divided as you buy. In the Dillings formula, here the age is divided in years. It also it means more than and one and in Dillings formula, age say the age is five years. You have to divide it by twenty. So it again uh, it is five or one the one fourth of the adult dose. Dillings formula. The, in case of class formula, it is the weight considered, not the age. You are written over it for infant. Maybe another formula is there. Dillings formula, Young's formula, class formula, like that. So weight is to be considered. Another way is how to calculate dose for a child. So that, that is about the same in elders. Here, few words are given about the uh, geriatric pharmacology. Geriatric, note down again. Geriatric, old age pharmacology. So what happens in that case? There may be differences in the pharmacokinetic and the pharmacodynamic. So there, in generally, the kidney function that goes below 50% above say 60 years. Decrease GFR, glomerular filtration rate that decreases. And at the same time, uh, liver uh, metabolizing activity that will come down. Liver blood flow will come down. So you have to give, you reduce the dose accordingly. Another thing about the geriatric pharmacology, written over here, it is and the absorption is slowed down. There is delayed emptying, stomach emptying, delayed stomach emptying due to old age or even maybe due to say diabetes, mellitus. Another factor in the elderly, the plasma protein, and they come down and so more drug will be in free form so you know that uh, it is a free form which is after that body weight again body weight average or refers to people of medium belt for abnormally lean or obese individual you have to adjust it. lean mass in older you know the lean mass that increases in females obesity in female fat is more you know fat is a dead tissue 
obese individual loss should be adjusted according to the body weight or body surface area of the patient. Here is the part two formula differently given. According to the body weight, you have been told 70 kg or 140 or 150 pounds taken as standard weight. So it is to be multiplied by average adult dose. Second one is the body surface area. Here it is in the meter square and divided by 1.7 and multiplied by the average adult dose. Sex, you have already been told about sex, what to be given to a female, what to be given to a male patient and according to different situations. Women are more susceptible than men to the effects of certain drugs because of lesser muscle mass. So in case of female, generally smaller doses are given. Here it is written, it is the susceptibility maybe. So lesser muscle mass. Precautions should be taken while giving drugs during pregnancy. You have been told certain drugs are ecpolics while the other drugs are tocolytics. No again. During menstruation, and the NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory NSAIDs, uh, they will, may produce more this heavy cycles. And during labor, certain medicines they delay the labor, so be careful. When a mother is uh, lactating or feeding a child, nursing a child, so be careful. Certain drugs they pass through the blood. Uh, through this uh, milk and the child is infected. Well, the rules of administration, you know the common route is the oral route and if it is not available or some uh, rapid effect is required, so the other routes are effected. Here written and you have to determine the speed and intensity of drug response. What response is required? Is it the intensity or the speed? You need immediate effects, so bigger dose, and so you will change the route. For rapid action, it is the parental route. Oral dose is normally in quantity. It is more than the intramuscular, and subcutaneous dose is more than the intravascular dose. Different uses through different rules I mean, the same drug is there and while applied different. Say, over here, this is one example of magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate. When given orally, it is laxative or purgative. When given intravenously, it is to depress the heart centers. It is, it is anti-epileptic or anti-convulsant. Anti-convulsant. Uh, this magnesium sulfate has also another effect, also applied on the boils, on the topical effect. Then, time of drug administration. You know when the stomach is empty, though, generally the drugs are rapidly absorbed. If it is full, uh, if tight is there, <coughs> or full stomach is there, so the drug they may bind to the protein and may be delayed effect. Another thing, time of administration, you have told the <coughs> sedative hypnotic, sedative hypnotic. The drugs to depress the high centers, they do well at bedtime, while the drugs to keep your mind alert better be given in the morning. Then the effect of climate, environment, climate, hard in case of hot, humid climate, metabolism is slow. In winter weather, if you give diuretics, they, they will be more effective and in case of summer, the purgatives or the lectures, they are more effective. In case of higher altitude, so oxygen is less. 
so the drug they are less there less oxidation of <coughs> drugs so be careful races may differ here one uh, known example castor oil castor oil used over here as purgative purgative no down again but in case the by the chinese they take it as oil or food as we use different oil corn oil maize oil and that certain edible oils as food castor oil is used in chinese as food Another effect is hydrin. Uh, it's uh, sympathomimetic. No, don't. If hydrin, sympathomimetic drug is there, so sympathomimetic drugs they dilate pupil. But in case of negros written here, there is no effect. <coughs> Beta blockers. What I have also seen at other beta blockers or beta stimulants, the aged people are not that much affected by beta blockers. Here it is that the beta blockers, well-known drugs, where you will talk in detail, they are less effective in Afro Caribbean's Afro Caribbean's area of Africans like that. After that, about the genetic. Complete chapter is now there about uh, pharmacogenetic, so chromosomal uh, changes are there and the effects they do change. Uh, but I don't say that you can go be a, uh, you, you may be some specialist in this genetics, but at the same time you should have some knowledge about few uh, examples like given over here, pseudocholinesterase deficiency. This is one enzyme, enzyme deficiency. Pseudocholinesterase may be normal, it may be hyperactive, <coughs> it may be hypoactive, pseudocholinesterase. So the drugs which are metabolized by pseudocholinesterase, their uh, effect or their toxicity may change and next example about the acetylinators you all know the isoniazid one anti-tuberculous drug some people they are slow to acetylate so you have to give a smaller dose if someone is fast acetylated then bigger dose is to be given then g6pd deficiency you know about one anti-malarial drug primaquin Primaquine, primaquine, so that there may be hemolysis if there is G6PD deficiency, even with sulfonamides, certain other examples are there. After genetics, it is a drug formulation. So the serous powder tablets, they may take different time to show their effect. Sera powder and tablets. Then drug age, drug age. Be careful whenever you are going to give up one drug, go through the expiry date and always use a fresh medicine for the drug. Drug should not be used after expiry date. Something very, very important. Few examples are given over tetracycline. You will study about tetracycline in detail as antibiotics. So if they are outdated, they will damage the kidney. Tetracycline. Uh, if they are outdated, their date is expired, the salt may become FPN hydrotetracycline. FPN hydrotetracycline and renal tubules, they will be uh, damaged and there will be acidosis. Similarly, chlorophyll Chloroform, chloroform, previously used as an a general anesthetic. Chloroform, it is toxic if kept for a longer period. And pharmacokinetics of drugs. Rapid absorption and quick elimination. 
doses administered more frequently if there is rapid absorption and quick elimination so bigger doses are needed if there is rapid absorption and slow elimination it's something general rule that body it will accumulate in body so you have to uh, give smaller dose then the number of pathological condition you will keep in your mind whenever you are uh, prescribing a drug say the GIT condition liver condition kidney um, status uh, cardiac situation cardiac status number of diseases you must keep in your mind uh, say the um, endocrine problem in GIT you have to consider that uh, uh, What's the situation of GIT? Is there any problem with absorption, mal absorption is there? Or there is vomiting, pathological condition, or GIT, so it's not behaving well, so accordingly you will adjust the liver. You know liver is the main metabolizing organ, and uh, so be careful about the liver function. So, if it's not up to date, so you have to decrease those or use a drug with different metabolizing route. Then now you know main excretion is through the kidney and the kidney function should be kept in your mind uh, once uh, <coughs> that creatinine clearance so about the renal function and cardiac function is also very important. Uh, it affects the kinetic cardiac function should be if it's not properly working so drug may come latent then severity of disease necessitates a modification of those that's true psychological factors psychological efficacy of a drug can be affected by patient beliefs so a patient say he or she thinks that is something sedative so that may sleep our patient believes attitude and expectations if you tell a patient that uh, it may elevate your his mind so sleep may be disturbed central acting drugs so these drugs are to be compared with placebo placebo then tolerance, you have go, gone through tolerance in detail. Tolerance is with the passage of time, there is hyperactivity. You need to increase the role. Cross tolerance, similar drugs, if they are changes, so there may be hyperactivity. One example, given two examples, morphine and methyl. Then hypersusceptibility. It is hyperreactivity. Expected response uh, uh, may be exaggerated. Morphine, hypersusceptibility. Drug interaction, very important. You will go through, say, for two lectures. The common drug interaction you must keep in your mind. The drug interaction may be a different at pharmacokinetic side, it may be at pharmacodynamic side. Synergies. It is an asked effect when one or two, two or more drugs are given to us. The combined effect may be built in case. Two drugs are used together to enhance the therapeutic response. Summation is something algebraic, and the effect of two drugs is equal to the algebraic sum. And potentiation, if two drugs are more given, so the total effect is more than that of the algebraic sum. So it's known as potentiation. Antagonism, very, very important. You should be able to define antagonism, the effect there of two or more drugs given to us that will go down. So there are different types, chemical antagonism. Drugs act uh, chemically, uh, and uh, so the total effect uh, will stop. Chemical antagonism. Physiological chemical uh, antacids are used to neutralize uh, this uh, HCL of your uh, producing the stomach. Chemical antagonism. 
then physiological antagonism the drugs act at different uh, sites to antagonize each other effect well known example is say of the histamine it acts on h1 h2 receptor etc receptor and the effect is counteracted by giving uh, epinephrine or adrenaline pharmacological antagonism it is the antagonism uh, at receptor sites pharmacological antagonism act at receptor site one drug occupies the same receptor another drug cannot act on that competitive uh, competitor they compete for the same drugs non competitive so I mean, if the effect that remains for a longer period cannot be overcome by an agonist, so antagonism is very important. A special lecture may be about it in drug interaction and drug antagonism. Drug dependence, psychological effect. Physical dependence, you can't live without a drug. It becomes part of your body. Psychological dependence, well known example are the narcotics, morphine, pethidine, codeine, etc. Uh, the physical dependence, alcohol, psychological dependence. I mean, even if you leave the drug, say for one or two days, there may be headache or like that, and also known as habituation. Say, well known example is caffeine. Caffeine, it is an alkaloid. Caffeine, you take this uh, tea habituation it produces similarly this nicotine this cigarette smoking or other things for habituation in case of drug dependence if a drug is a uh, stopped all of a sudden so may there may be adverse effect appear adverse so it's known as abstinence syndrome or the withdrawal symptoms drugs abuse drug dependent drug abuse the high centers are affected and one cannot live without the drug abuse other than the required medical indications drug abuse these medicines are used a few examples are morphine is abused barbiturates alcohol number of other drugs you will have one lecture about the drugs which are abused assignment is given you have been given assignment Define pathology. You have to enumerate the uh, factors which affect the dose of a drug or action of a drug, and then at the same time, is something very important to know about the formula. They they are given in your RSP. Thank you. Complete over here. Best of luck. Assalamualaikum.